Hello everybody, I'm Fabian and welcome back to Fab Motorbikes. This week I'm going to be talking to you about the 10 items I keep in my motorbike at all times. So let's start with the top box. Well, in this top box I usually keep a bag of goodies and there's lots of things that I deem to be very important. Number one, puncture repair kit. This is a fairly cheap puncture repair kit from Amazon. Link down below in the description area. Fairly straightforward. It is what they call a uh, bacon strip puncture repair kit. Get a puncture, find the hole, plug it with one of these. There's plenty of tutorials online of how to use one of these, so I won't go into that. But I deem these to be one of the most important things to keep on your bike at all time because you don't want to be stranded with a puncture and one of these can fix it in 10 minutes or so. Excellent piece of kit. Link in description below. Number two is additional bungees. These are essential. You don't know when you need to pick up something large or you need to strap it to the rear of the bike. So keeping two or maybe even three of these on the bike at all times is just essential and extremely useful. And they don't really weigh much or take much space. And number three, I keep a high vis in my bike at all times. Now, I don't ride every day with a high vis. Um, not a huge believer in them um, while I'm riding, really. But um, a couple of times I have been stranded out in country roads at night, and it's, I, I just felt quite vulnerable when it was pitch black, no street lamps around. Um, so keeping one of these handy when you're out at night and you're worried about being stranded. I find is a great idea and I did feel a bit more visible and um, there was also an occasion when I felt it was appropriate to drape it over the bike so that traffic could see my bike on the side of the road. So um, keeping one of these is a great thing and I can always wear it at any time I feel appropriate to. And number four is a small pack of earplugs. Uh, on short slow rides I don't need to wear earplugs but a short slow ride can easily become an elongated much quicker ride and at higher speeds I believe earplugs are a must. Even if you have a good helmet that I do, like I do, that um, says it can reduce wind noise, really earplugs on a motorcycle are a must for me. And they weigh nothing, they're packed down really small, so why not just keep them in the bike? Now number five, that is a spare phone charger. We rely on our phones so much nowadays. I have a charger on my bike, but just in case, you know, just I need, I'm running out of juice and I could always just ask for help, knock on someone's door, a spare phone charger, keep it in the bike at all times, really I know it's gonna, it's gonna look after me. So I keep that in the top box. And number six, final item I keep in my top box is my waterproof. It's a little pack here, and I've got a waterproof jacket that folds down, and I have waterproof trousers. Uh, living in England, these are essential. They are with me at all times. When it starts chucking down just like that, you know it can here pull over quickly, get them on, carry on with the ride. Let's move on now and have a look what's under the seat. So with the seat out of the way, we can move on to number seven on this list. And that is disc lock. Very small, very handy. Um, I don't feel the need to carry chains around, but this, because it's very portable, I keep that under the seat at all times. It fits there quite nicely. And number eight, probably like a lot of you, I keep the standard toolkit that came with the bike under there. I've added a few items, which I won't go into now, but it's, few, it's great for having just a few basic repairs, adjusting the chain, a few things that could potentially be done on the road. Number nine on this list is a pressure gauge for tires. And along with that, I'll lump these together, is a little hand pump. As you see, I keep a puncture repair kit in the top box. That's gonna be useless without one of these. I should also think about getting those capsules to pump up the tires very quickly, but, um, I can get by with a small hand pump and a tire pressure gauge, very useful. And finally, number 10 on this list, is just a little bag here that has rubber gloves in and a few plastic bags as well. It's very useful when you're on the road and you need to do a little bit of work and it's really annoying when you get your hands painfully messy and then you don't necessarily want to put your gloves, leather gloves over your messy hands. Having these makes it a lot more simple. Uh, just whip them off and dispose of them if you need to. That's it today. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It's free, you can always change your mind later. And of course, those items, if you're looking for somewhere to buy them, there'll be links down in the description to almost all of them. So head over there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.